welcome to Colombian Tours. My name is Nestor Melendez with Estefania Melendez and Ryan McCoy. Here we are at a great place called Tacos Way in Cartagena. We're going to have great Mexican food here and we're going to enjoy it a lot. Let's go. Tacos Way, this is a sports bar and also a, taco, a tacos place, so you can enjoy here a lot of the sports over here and it's the official place for NFL football in the city of Cartagena and soon also the Major League Baseball is going to happen over here in Cartagena, so everything you got it covered at Tacos Way, but if you want to see Colombia professional football, also we have it here, so just enjoy and come over here to Tacos Way in Cartagena. This is Colombian Tours. Hey, subscribe to my channel, guys. Give me a subscription, share it, and give me a like. Come on. Okay, here we have a special quesadilla of the house. It's called Quesadilla de Birria. It looks really good. These are the contracos of the pastor. This is the cochinilla tacos, and those are the burritos. Here we are at Tacos Way in Marbella, in Cartagena, Colombia. And uh, this is Colombian Tours. Come on, subscribe to my channel. And right now, I'm going to eat. This is the place you put when you're a content creator and you're waiting to eat and you gotta wait because they gotta do the thing. How are you? Here we are at the beaches of Marbella. Here we are. This is uh, Botejena, rent my boat. Check this out. These people are very serious renting the boats in Cartagena. So when you need to have them, you get to Botejena. Look at the number. 301-601-0990 at Botejana in Cartagena. Adam. Welcome. Good How are you? Very good. Very good. Adam is uh, the established over here in Cartagena. He's from KC, from Kansas City. Uh, I, I, you know what? I wanted to tell you one thing before the times. I, I, I remember when you posted that uh, when you won the Dolphins, man, you don't do that. No, <laughs> it's not going to never happen again. Well, <laughs> we keep winning, so hopefully we'll <laughs> three beats. So you that's, keep why there, that's why there's a little bit disproportionate amount of Kansas City gear. Yeah, I see a little bit, a little bit of uh, KC gear. I'm a Dolphins fan, as you know, but I am also a millionaire fan. Have you, have you already chosen your team in Colombia? Well, you're so Oh, you're from Real Cartagena. He's from Real Cartagena. But you have a sports bar over here, yeah? Yes. Okay, uh, that, that is okay. Let's go in. This is... Uh, Hola, muchachos. Bien, okay? Hola, ¿sabes? Bien. The head of the cocina, the, the boss, uh, the kitchen. Hi there. Hi there. How are you? Hi there. How is it going, man? This is certainly... Hi. ¿Cómo van? Bien? 
Sergio. Ok, bien. Si eres, eh, algo como el mensaje de Maimón, de la Biblia. Ah, ¿qué? ¿Cuál es tu taco más famoso? ¿Cuál es lo, cuál es lo, la, lo más famoso que hace? Tenemos de, de birria, tenemos de pollo, tenemos de pastor. Oh, de birria. No, de, de birria es... Uh, let, let, let me translate what is birria for you guys. Birria is... How do you translate it? Goat? But it used to be... Traditionally, birria, birria was made with goat. Yes, but now basically almost everywhere has changed that into uh, uh, beef. Uh, so it's birria de race. But you can do birria de... Uh, you can do also chicken birria. It really, the beauty is kind of a process of using the dried chilies and the tomato and cooking the meat in that sauce and then using that sauce uh, on the plate for the for the taco. Then you dip it with the taco. So that's kind of the beauty. Uh, and the traditional beauty of sauces using specific amount of chi uh, specific types of chilies, like what we have in here. This is the ancho, and then there's um, another set of chilies, the guajillo. I don't know if there is. A uh, Wait, e, e, where you come? Where do you bring those chilies from? Well, now we get them through to, from Bogota, but we used to have to get them all the way from Mexico. Wow, that is incredible! So, vamos a hacer tacos de birria en este momento. Van a empezar a, a, a la película. Yeah, vamos a la película. Eh, eso, la película de acción. I remember before I used to work in uh, Maria Bonita Head Zimini. I don't know if you guys oh, used, yeah. to, used to be there in the Trinidad, the Plaza Trinidad, but. Yeah, he uh, came over to the good team over here. And so, yeah, there was, there was a, they explained this place a little bit. We just uh, had all the Real Madrid, Barcelona guys. They're all gone now, but we had a crowd in here earlier, and then the big crowd comes on later, it comes in waves. But it's good that we have some space and there's not people talking on that matter. Oh, that's great, but uh, it's incredible. And, and tell me about you before we get into the place. I want to know because this is a real story, like, Coming here to Cartagena, you know, guys, many people here think that going to Cartagena is going to be a dangerous place. I know, uh, you know, many people think yes. of that. And, but how come did you end it over here, up here, in, uh, down here in Cartagena? I fell in love with a Colombian woman. Oh, that's, that's main reason, main reason, uh, I'm going to say it with no offense, guys, with no, main reason gringos stay here in Colombia. It's a women. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, we're the lucky guys. But we're, well, sometimes we're lucky because right now, like, you know, that, well, you know, some gringos come over here and... Yes. I, I, went, I came on a bachelor party like oh, seven yeah. years ago or so, uh, for another guy, not for myself, obviously. And we went partying in boats um, out in the islands. We invited some girls to go with us, and one of those girls was not my, my wife and baby. So, oh, that's great. You know, after we traveled around to other countries and stuff, and we, she had the visa, we were in the States, the pandemic happened. I had to make a decision whether I was going to stay there or I was going to right out the end of the world with her, and so I chose to do it here with, with her. And if you come to Cartagena here, you have everything here. Let's go in, let's get in. Let's get in and see. Last year, a sports bar with all, with all, with all the TVs. Oh, when you come to, I'm gonna to come to here to see Millonarios. You know, the best team in the world is Millonarios. Uh, I'm from Millonarios. Did you know that, guys? I'm from Millonarios, from Bogota. Best team in the world. So yes, this is very big, uh, you know, it's a very American style type of sports bar where you put up a bunch of TVs all over the place. And so, yeah. um, you know, I, the biggest thing, I lived in this neighborhood for about five years or so, and I was just like, you know, I want to go watch sports, mainly American football, um, and there was nowhere to go watch sports. I go to the Stanco, but the Stanco, the, no, yeah. the sand and the people and the different things, and the TV was always like, had some sort of soap opera thing on, it wasn't really sports. And so, yeah, I wanted to have a sports bar and my partner who's not here is a Mexican guy who is the inspiration of the tacos. Um, but we can't really do authentic Mexican tacos, but we do make delicious, very good tacos. But th there's a problem with, um, you can't always get the same ingredients here in Colombia as you can in Mexico. And also there's different palates. So there, a lot of people are scared, a lot of Colombians, we have a mix of foreigners, we have a mix of local people, and a lot of people here, Mexican food or tacos, especially costeños, and they don't like spicy. So uh, we had to we assure people they don't like spicy. But we don't have a revenge on that. You guys cannot cook a hiaco like we do because you don't have the papa criolla there, you don't have the sabanera and the mastuza, and then you don't have the huascas. So it's yes. a tie tie. Different flavors, yes. Different flavors. A hiaco is the official soup of Colombia, the official soup of Bogota, and it's a great soup you should taste. 
Puta Lila, ¿te gusta la yaca o la yaca? Sí, claro. Yeah. Every time, and also the scent culture. Every time we go to the States with my, my Colombian family, they, about two weeks there, they're always like, where am I, Arepa? Where am I, Arepa de Huevos? Where okay. am I, scent culture? So. A question, how many sancochos have you had? Uh, there's too many to count. I don't yeah, know. too many to count. Did you plant different that? types? Or how many yeah, times different have I types. Don't worry. Don't oh, don't well, I'm probably, probably far behind. I just, I won't know. I won't tell you that there's a beach out in Manzanillo, which is not yeah. very far from here. Uh, they do uh, the sancocho with uh, where they use wood to cook the soup oh, instead, that's instead, good. Of, instead of the gas. So that's kind of a thing that I've learned. If they do it with the wood, the wood cooking, it's But let, let me have this question because I, I have a theory that after Sancocho number 50, you're doomed. Do you, are you already doomed? Are you already Colombian, like I, by blood? Well, like, had, you have more than 50 Sancochos and well, the number had, 51, the transformation happens. I've had more than 50 hangovers, so yes, I probably had more than 50 uh, Sancochos. Oh, more than 50 Sancochos, that is good. And to be here in Colombia, we recommend people from the United States to come over here to Cartagena to live, maybe expats that come over here. I know you're a leader of the expats in, the, uh, in Cartagena that live over here. Of the, all the U.S. citizens in Cartagena have to do ham, something without them. So tell me, what do you recommend to people? Maybe they're thinking, oh, will I be going to live in Cartagena? What, uh, I guess, sorry, I didn't. What, what will you recommend anyone to come over here to live in Colombia or in Cartagena? What would you say that to be? Maybe to someone that is thinking, well, I would like to live outside of the United States. Would I go to Colombia? Well, I would say the biggest thing that I noticed with expats that try to that say they're going to live here, sometimes the lifespan of a lot expat is about a year or so, because you have to really prepare yourself mentally to be ready for that culture change and also focus on what's positive, because there's a lot of things that you can focus on that are negative, like either holes or infrastructure problems or various things or slowness of things. I mean, you know, I mean, all the different stuff. And if you focus on that, you're not you're going to slowly go get into sort of a negative spiral of not enjoying where you're staying anymore. So as long as you kind of keep yourself positive and and focus on the things that are that are positive, then I think you can you can make it here. But that's the biggest. So here we go, tacos, way. This is good, man. This is tacos de birria. Y vamos a irnos por el taco show. Tú sabes una de las cosas en México, para mis amigos mexicanos, to all my Mexican friends, you know we got a lot of Mexican friends. One of the things that my Mexican friends taught me is that el naco se conoce por la forma como coge el taco, o como agarra el taco, porque pues si cogemos el taco es distinto, eh, joder, <laughs> espero ustedes me entienden, eh. Sí, Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. El naco se conoce por la forma como come el taco. Mmm. 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 Está divina la salsa. Divina. Mexican food here in Cartagena.